And we are going to be bringing you all new original movies and fun summer ideas and activities for the whole family. And we are kicking it off with our next guest, celebrity chef Sharon Hackman, who is sharing one of his very favorite summer dishes. Yes. So you were showing us how to make this delicious flank steak with some special sauces. Exactly right. Exactly right. So what is, I'm sure people ask you this all the time, like you said, what is the perfect way to make a steak? There is no one perfect way. It's a process, right? And But the good news is, is I'm going to show you every step it takes to make the perfect steak. Okay. Shall so, we start? Sure. Okay. Let's, let's start. What's the key to... The key. So one thing that, you know, we were just talking, I was talking to the Cowboys. What's your favorite cut of steak? Ribeye. Ribeye, bone right? Bone in. But it's bone in ribeye. Bone but is ribeye one of the most expensive cuts? No, sir. Well, it generally is at the grocery store. Yeah. Not for this Not for this one. Not for this one. Not for this one. Yes, exactly. Yeah. No, but if you go to the grocery store, ribeyes are generally one of the premium cuts. So there are secondary cuts that are working muscles that are just as flavorful, and I enjoy skirt steaks, flank steaks like I have over here, flat iron steaks. Mm. Really flavorful. They're going to have a little bit more bite to them, but they've got a tremendous amount of flavor, and they're great to cook with. So what I have over here is a flat iron steak. First step. Oh, yeah, bring right? it in. Thank you, guys. Yeah, thank you. The first step here is you want to temper your steak, right? Okay. What does that mean? I don't want to pull this right out of the refrigerator and throw it right on the pan. Why not? I, because it's cold. And what you're going to do is you're going to have a good sear on the outside, and the inside is going to be cold and undercooked. Uh -huh. So you want to temper it. That means I bring this out about two hours before I cook it. I season it well with some salt and pepper. And the salt that I use is I use a nice little coarse grain sea salt. And the reason being is, believe it or not, a good sea salt has a little bit of sweetness to it, and it works really well. And you don't have to use as much as you would as one of those uh, fine salts, right? The ones that, those table salts that you can find okay. for nothing. So that's the first step. Okay. Season it well. So Doug, just salt and pepper. Salt and pepper. That's you don't it. want to do too much to it. Not too much pepper no, either. No, the beauty is huh? in the meat. A little bit of pepper. I try to add a little bit more at the end because if you uh, uh, add the pepper to the pan, it may burn it, and you'll get a little bit of a bitter. Oh, bitter. No, is right. Is that for all cooking or just cooking steaks? Like Most of the time, anything that you're going to sear. Now look at that cast iron pan, right? That is searing, piping hot. That is exactly what I want. So you want to always cook it in a cast iron pan? I, I always prefer to. If you don't have one, you'll survive. But a cast iron nothing distributes heat as evenly as beautifully as a cast iron pan and the trick is you want to use a high smoking point oil extra virgin olive oil is one of my favorite oils but it does not work well in the pan and that will also it'll burn look, it'll burn and it'll get bitter so I'm using something like grapeseed oil over here. okay healthy really good choice okay so we're gonna get our so steak. we've tempered it for two hours tempered we've it. seasoned it's it. room temperature we've got the right grapeseed oil in there and that's here I'll Get my mic in here so you That's guys can That's the sound you the want. Sacrifice. But oh, that is what you want to hear. The Cowboys are going to be the real test here. What do you think, fellas? Very good. Thumbs up. Very good. You're loving it. And, that's, and that, there's no bone on that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and you, when you're at home, awesome. your sons love to cook with you too, right? Oh, my kids love oh. cooking with me. It's something that I do with them all the time. We enjoy, it's like our bonding time. It's fantastic. Yeah. Oh, we really so enjoy What was for dinner last night? Anything uh, good? Yeah, we did. We actually used a cast iron pan. I think I may also have some cool pictures of it. I taught the boys how to make a little bula uh with some uh, shrimp and some scallops in there. Mm -hmm. I also, we also made a little seared salmon, uh, seared uh, tuna tataki. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is just a regular weeknight. This hey, is a wow. night in my house. Yeah, there are my boys plating their uh, tuna. That's and, incredible. Uh, there they are, right there. Oh my it's gosh, they're great. so cute. Little Thank chefs you. in the making. They could be on Chop Junior. They, they <laughs> love it. I hosted Chop Junior. I judged Chop Junior, I'm saying before. I, judge, the I judged it's it. The best. It's the best. I would have voted for your kids. So I don't even know if they can cook. It's so funny. When you when you do chop for the adults, you immediately become so mean. But with kids, it just... I know. You're like, oh, you're so cute. Like, I know. It, Everyone's it a winner. It horrible, but you love them. I know. I've always wondered how does the food actually taste. Uh, it's not great. I'm not going to lie. But you smile and you say, this right? is delicious. Yeah, I know. So you actually do have a very delicious salsa verde that goes with I, the I steak. do. So what we do is I'm searing this off about two minutes. I just want to develop a really great crust. Let me show you a great condiment that you make. This is my salsa verde. I start with cilantro. That's parsley. a lot of cilantro and a lot yeah, of parsley. That's a lot. You're okay. right. Okay, we can take some out of. Oh, no, no, no. That's okay. I don't mean to cilantro that's or okay. parsley shame you. I just thought perhaps there was that, a lot in there. That's okay. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I get worried Come when women start telling me it's oh, too no, much in the no. kitchen. It's I'm just going to like not. I love stuff. fresh herbs. There's can so, never be too much. Extra virgin olive oil for this is the perfect. One, right? So, do you want to drizzle sure. that over for me? And don't worry, just keep going. We're okay, you tell me when. Lemon juice. Beautiful. That acidity is going to be beautiful. Okay. And some lemon zest. Why lemon zest? Ooh. Because it's not as acidic, but it's got those beautiful essential oils from the lemon that's just going to carry over beautifully. Do you like spicy or I not? I love spicy. Okay, so we'll do the whole thing. Chili flakes. Chili yes. flakes go in there. 
salt, and can you add some, some pepper? More pepper. Me? What about that garlic over there? That garlic does not go in there. And then I would make this a chimichurri. Oh, I see. Right? Okay. So I'm trying to avoid everyone's like getting that garlic breath. We're all hanging out together. Well, we don't mind as long as we're together. <laughs> right? That's, that's true. It's just the people that talk to us here. after the show. So now that my, my steak is here, what I want to look for is a really, really nice crust. And that's starting to form over here. Okay? Now, how do you get a restaurant, uh, that restaurant quality steak? Yeah. How do you get it to start tasting really good? Well, butter. So you know, everything butter goes is in there. Better with butter, it yes. just is. It just is. So you add a good amount of butter. And in that's there. at the end. Um, you want to cook it and baste it in there. So I'm going to show you a couple of really cool tricks. Okay. And for additional flavor, we can throw some garlic in there. What's and that? And some fresh thyme. Some thyme. This for is how totally much time? optional. How much Pause. time do you keep it in there? Uh, all, the whole time. <laughs> the whole. I know. I got you. <laughs> okay. And then so what? That's we, for you, Mark Stein. What we do is we turn this over now. Oh, look at that. And we start basting the bad boy, okay. right? So I turn my pan this way, and I just start ladling. What do you think, guys? Butter right on top. Well, we, we've actually been talking about hiring a cook. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so if you ever run out of work, I think <laughs> nice yeah. Grandma's motto is always bacon grease. Everything's better with bacon. Bacon grease, <laughs> that's a good choice, too. And so we're going to sear this up. For the interest, obviously, of time and, and all that, we want to rest our steak, right? So I want to sear it. This is what I'm looking for. Oh, my god. Off the pan, right? Oh, so I did this god. ahead of time. You want to give it a little bunch, uh, if it has a little bounce back, that's what I'm looking for, for a nice medium, medium rare cut, okay? Oh, I rest it on a rack because you worked so hard to develop that crust. Last thing you want to do is put it on a cutting board it and it's going to steam out. Oh, so no. you get a crust on both sides. This is amazing. Look at that. I know. I'm getting very And how long would we keep it on the, in the cast iron? You said? I would say about two minutes each side That's for it. that cut. That's it. You don't want to do too much to it. And so we're going to cut this right here. Wow. Look at that. Oh, my gosh. Oh. oh. I love the sound effects. Looks I mean, it's, it's amazing. Good sound. And it's also, I mean, it looks so delicious. You also have two other beautiful sauces here as well. I do. And which, by the way, happen to be your very own sauces. Right. So I do, and I think that when you have a good steak, you want to have some choices of condiments. So I paired it with some of my favorite choices. We've got the salsa verde. We've got my chipotle bourbon barbecue sauce, my hack chipotle bourbon sauce, and a little whole grain mustard. So you can choose whichever one you want to And can enjoy I brag more. about you a little bit? Because sure. I know it's been a long time in the making, and you've been doing this for a really long time. Your sauces just got into Walmart. That is a yes. huge that deal. Thank you. Say, Thank that you. Is congratulations. Oh, that's awesome. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you. Very proud of that. How oh, is it? You try it, Debbie? Let's get in. Is it perfect? Oh is gosh. that the perfect steak? Do I, should I cut uh, it or should I just no, go, just like go for it. Just like